Today we're checking out mobs that should have been included in the Minecraft 1.20 Trails and Tales update, alongside some cool new items and areas as well. Now, don't get me wrong, camels are awesome and all, but how about desert sandstorms instead? You can now find sandstorms all across your desert biomes, and if you get caught in them, you'll be dealt slowness effect alongside consistent damage. But as long as you have yourself some splash water bottles nice and handy, throwing one on the ground will cause cause the sandstorm to dissipate as though it never happened at all. Okay, let's see how the camel does against the sandstorm. Nothing personal, buddy. All right, so <laughs> camel seems to be perfectly immune. Fair enough, the guy practically lives here in most of his days. Throwing a splash water bottle down though, we'll clear this area nice and easy. Okay, but how about something of a little bit more substance? Scorpions. Well, these are the rabbits. <laughs> That's what we'll be feeding the scorpions. Get a couple of these down and boom. Scorpions, nasty guys will immediately go for any nearby mobs poisoning them with their deadly stinger. And we'll be able to collect that stinger by attacking and defeating the scorpion as they roam about the desert biomes and do their scorpion dance, apparently. <laughs> now, I'd rather not get stung, so I'm gonna stay in creative mode and deal a couple shots to this guy so we can get his amazing item. He's got a lot of health on him, huh? But check it out. Upon defeat, it will drop its scorpion stinger. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, I already had one. Well, you can use it alongside an arrow to craft some poisonous arrows. And these should come in handy, so I'm gonna stack up a bunch of them so we can use them to take on our next mob. Do you see it? It's right in front of us. We'll come back to them. How about a mob we actually can see instead? This is the Mummy's Curse, which is a nighttime variant of the Husk Mob. They spawn at night in place of husks, and they have a special ability. They can drag enemies into the ground. Why don't we put down an unsuspecting villager and see what he does? Oh boy, they've got company. Look at that, down he goes. <laughs> oh, I got plenty more of them where that came from. Look at you, all of them going down. Kinda like that I'm in creative mode right now. <laughs> no, don't go towards them, you're crazy. Oh, he can't make up his mind. Run, Forrest, run. Well, you tried, my friend. Hey, I'm on Cameo. Book me today for a custom video message. But okay, back to our hidden in plain sight mob. This would have been amazing in 1.20. Any guesses yet? That's right. It's a cactus mimic who will shoot prickly spines in your direction. And if you get too close, is unafraid to melee you as well. I gotta say, it's a good thing we got our hands on some of those bow and arrows before. It even has a brand new drop. You may have seen them earlier in the video. They're known as prickly balls and they are throwable projectiles that you can use to take out any nearby baddies dealing some pretty massive damage. Not bad. You'll need to keep a keen eye as you come across the barren swaths of the desert in order to find more of these nasties in an attempt to collect as many balls as you can. Meanwhile, I'm gonna run. <laughs> wow, those two are standing out like a sore thumb. Diagonal, come on guys. This your first day in Minecraft? Uh oh, you heard me. <laughs> now, as terrifying as these four new 1.20 mobs might be, they pale in comparison compared to the fifth desert mob, which uh, suspiciously has disappeared. More on them later. The 1.20 update primarily touched on deserts, cherry groves, a new biome, one that with our help was also home to some new mobs, and the skulk infested deep dark, which uh, looks like it started leaking. For now, our next mob, red pandas, shy little babies, that drop a new item as well. Check it out. Huh? Oh, this guy? <laughs> yes, yes, in time. For now, the red panda. Check him out, a new panda variant. Oh boy, he is on the run. <laughs> this is actually based off of other red pandas that you have seen in real life before. And uh, I don't know why he's so scared of me. It's not like I'm holding a whole bunch of weaponry that could be used to take him out so that we can get a brand new item off of him. Thank you so much for your trouble, my friend. I want to look at you. There you are, much better. Oh, he heard me. Now I'm gonna get you stuck in some cobweb. You're not going anywhere. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. <laughs> now what you gonna do? Wait, don't, no, no, don't answer that question. Anyways, I'll just put him out of his misery and we get ourselves the new item, a bamboo shard, which can be used to craft a sword. You'll need two of them alongside a stick, but you'll get your hands on this lovely new bamboo sword, which is not particularly stronger than any given sword you could get in game, but is fun to take out innocent creatures with, uh, including new creatures like the pottery monster, which should drop us some valuable loot on death. A lovely little herb Hermit crab has taken up refuge inside some of the pottery blocks you can now find in the 1.20 Trails and Tales update. Now they are passive in nature until you start messing with them, but what else am I supposed to do? It's got items and I want them. Mine! <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well, wait. You want a tussle, buddy? Hi! All right, well, <laughs> you've had your fun. I want the goods. Get on back here. Check it out. You have a chance to get various pottery shirts from destroying them. Choice word there, but all right. They actually have numerous drops, and so I'm going to go ahead and just <laughs> eradicate all these poor little souls. You can get various pottery shirts as well as, from time to time, some templates for smithing. And if you are fortunate enough, you can also grab yourself a rare music disc as well. There you are. Wait, no, that's just a... Whoa! The Dance of Doom? Oh, we already grabbed one. Aaron Sharaf. Relic. I'll spare you the music track. Where might you be able to find some of these pottery monsters in game, you say? Well, they oftentimes like to hang out nearby new trails, ruins that have been added in as well. Here's an example of one of them right here. Oh, there's the cobwebs from earlier. Now, wait a second. Pottery shirts have a lot to do with the new block, Suspicious Gravel, as well as Suspicious Sand. And if I don't recall, yeah, I thought so, right next to where that pottery monster was. This is the sand mob I was telling you all about a little bit earlier. Ready? It's the Among Us sand. <laughs> Which drops sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought I'd give a nod to the fact that we obviously have included all these creatures ourselves, but these guys are very strong. And hey, anytime I can fit in a nice Amogus joke, I'm going to. <laughs> Where's that last one? Thought you could run, huh? Don't think so. Now, they'll actually drop suspicious sand, so they do in fact have some purpose, but it's not as though they'd ever actually make it in. How about we head to the cherry blossoms before we show you this amazing skulk creeper? First and foremost, as mentioned earlier, there are now a few new cherry grove mobs associated with 1.20 as well. These guys should have been added in. Look at them, staring out in the distance. I feel you, man. You should be real. Well, you are, at least with us. Now, outside of being a general defender of any villages you might be able to find these golems inside of, the cherry iron golems also grant you a passive luck effect. Now, any loot tables in game you might happen across can actually benefit from having a passive luck effect. You'll see here that without luck, all we're getting is <laughs> potatoes and apples, and I ain't even hungry. But if we were to lure our friend just a little bit closer so that he could give us that luck effect as we happen to press this new loot button, you could see what is amazingly showing up once this guy's nearby. Refresh that, check it out. Ooh! That one's good. Let's press it again. Oh, bro. Yeah, yeah, you're coming with me everywhere. Now, unlike regular iron golems, you cannot craft cherry grove golems, but you can lead them so that they can come with you on your adventures. And if you are willing to deal with the challenge of carrying them around wherever you go, you can benefit from their luck effect. Just be nice to them. Oh, I forgot I had strength on. <laughs> In fact, you might want them nearby for the next Minecraft mod that should have been added to 1.20. Termites. That's right, found inside cherry groves and blossom forests are the new termite mob, which can actually shred through any wooden blocks that happen to be nearby. Now don't mind me, I'm gonna go into creative mode so they don't go for me, but check this out. Instant destruction. And no regrets about it either, although they can't reach those ones in the air conveniently enough, so consider yourself lucky if your building is in the air. Oh, smoke too soon. Well, you can take them out if you're in survival mode. Just be very careful because they'll go and attack you as well if you're nearby and if they're already not distracted with any wood that's around. Them. Now, killing them will yield an interesting drop. They're a little hard to hit, but when you do, you'll get wood shavings. Careful not to get splinters. You can actually use these wood shavings to, so to speak, in enchant armor in a crafting table with the thorns three effect for those unaware the thorns armor effect will actually allow you to deal damage back to mobs from time to time when being hit by them kind of like a passive attack that you have on your armor <laughs> i could use this golem right now come on buddy help me out avenge me our next mobs are cherry bees which happen to spawn naturally in any cherry grove biomes that have honey blocks or whatever those are called beehives <laughs> attached to them now i'm gonna do this in creative mode because I'm not a psychopath. But if you were to happen to kill one of these poor souls, they'll drop a new item. Check you out. Beautiful. What is it? It's the pink honeycomb. And what better way to reward yourself for killing an innocent insect by eating its remains? It's not really remains, but it is pretty sweet. It gives you regen as well as absorption, which is roughly equivalent to a golden apple. Careful when killing them, though, because once you've taken them out once, they will not respawn. You'd have to breed them. Another no-brainer for Mojang, Cherry Sniffers, which is a Cherry Grove variant of the brand new Sniffer Mob. Look at you, adorable. I love what you've done with the clothes. Now, Cherry Sniffers will grant an AOE, which is an area of effect of regeneration when fed the new Torch Flower Seeds. 
Come here, buddy. Dinner is served. Look at that. We now have passive regen three. This is another example of a mob you may want to lead around so that you can be aided in battle. On top of that, if you take shears to this guy, you'll get yourself another special item. And you can get as many of them as you want. I don't think he minds. It's, it's kind of like a massage. Check it out. Cherry saplings so that you can grow that many more lush cherry forests around you. But okay, I hear you loud and clear. The Skulk Creeper, another one that should have been in 1.20. Well, at least if you asked us. This guy, we decided to show on the mainland overworld, though you'd be better off finding one of them in the deep dark. Check this puppy out. Nasty guy. Get too close, even in creative mode, and witness as it explodes and brings in a whole mess of skulk blocks. On top of what you saw there, a big old warden blast. Why don't we go into creative mode and show off this puppy a little bit closer? Not that close, though. <laughs> don't get to... Come on, buddy. Uh-oh. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, boy. It will actually shoot out a warden blast nearby you that, if you're not careful, will trail you down. Oh, boy. Unless, of course, you were hit by its initial blast, in which case you might be spared. Nah, I don't think so. Creative mode got nothing on you. <laughs> Tell us, guys, what other mobs should have been added into Minecraft 1.20? Or, in any update for that matter, yo, this guy's going to town.